Right there, we're looking at refurbing the bottom arm on the mini suspension. As you can see, it's just been taken straight off the car. All that's left is the bottom arm, the pin and the bushes. And you can see the bushes are well cracked here. So the first thing we're going to do is get um, this pin removed. What I've done for the other side, I'm sure there's a few different methods, is I cut the excess of this away with a um, sharp knife. I then heated this and that allowed me to manoeuvre this and just pulled it free, so let's give it a go. Um, I can't find the sodge now so I'm just going to use a knife I've got here, it's just soft rubber so it shouldn't actually take much. As you can see it's separated already, it's that degraded. Most of it can be pulled by hand to be honest. Okay. the nut and the spring washer off. That's just the excess of the stuff that's left. If you can have a look in the top. Just the same on this, just to get rid of the overlap. Definitely better tools for the job, but this is the one that was to hand. Right, so you can see I've cut away all the excess rubber. Just on both sides, it's still solid, it's not moving, that's when I'm going to heat this bit and it's going to expand this and slightly melt the rubber, it's going to allow it to then be pulled away. So I'll manoeuvre it in another position just to get a bit more leverage on it. Once it's caught in this door, the rubber's a bit soggy and can be pulled away. Don't remember that's just still hot inside but tap I'll get rid of that. And there we go. So about 15 minutes later, you can see all the rust gone. Back to bare metal, so all we're going to stick on now, we grab that, is the acid etch primer. Um, I just got a fairly cheap one off the internet. It's this here, so obviously different brands, each to their own.
So, do a few coats of that, let it paint, then we'll look at the stone chip. I usually leave half a day, a day or something for it to dry, there's no rush for it, and it's better just applying it thin, building it up rather than getting runs in the paint. Quite a few coats later of the acid etch primer, the stone chip and the top coat, that's the finished bottom arm, as new. It saves quite a bit of money getting these and it keeps the parts original so I'm quite happy with that. So the bits we're going to add to this, the lower arm pin, I went for a new one of these because the last one, this section here had the old metal inserts from the old arm and it just didn't seem like a good fit so by the time I priced it up they were only just over £10 each for one of these so I thought well they're all new parts I'll get this put on. So I've got that to put on, comes with the nut on the end and I've also got polyurethane bushes just as a upgrade for the suspension. Right so the polyurethane bushes to get them in here sure there's a few different methods. I have tried a few different ways to see what was easiest. I did try first putting them in each side which is quite easy to go in. They're a lot easier than rubber. You can also use some washing up liquid which makes it even easier. When they go in here it's tapered, at least on the later model minis, so when you push it in like that it is squashy you've got in here. So I did try that and then I put once they were in I tried putting these metal inserts in. However I found because this was at an angle, sometimes this was going in squint or it wasn't sitting right and I didn't, didn't like it. So the best way, for me anyway, I found was to put the metal inserts in the bushes. Again, they go in fairly easy, that's just by hand, so that they're sitting flush. And then I found by pushing them in with a little bit of washing up liquid, they went in easier. We're going to do it that way and show you that way. Um, just to get them pushed far enough in, I'm going to use the vise here, but as you can see the vise, it's not got the greatest surface area uh, here, and it only covers a small portion of this, so what I used was the old cup washers just to save damage on the rubber and just to get a full, you can see you can get the full edge around there and it gives it even pressure all round. So, you want to stick that in there for me, the metal bit in there? Use your there you go, benefit of having big thumbs. So just put a tiny bit of there you go. Washing up like good round. Like I say, you could probably do it, it's quite shiny without it, but it makes it a little bit easier, especially if these are rubber bushes you're putting in. The rubber seems to touch slightly more. So we're going to put them as much as we can here at the moment. There you go, one on one side. You'll find that they do push in, especially with the vice on them. But then when you let the vice go they do pop out slightly but once you put them in the subframe and you put the bolt through they, um, they, they get pushed in place and they can't move so don't worry if they come out slightly, which I did to start with. Right so that's them in, just pushed in by there, like I say we're going to put these on each side, get them in the vice and then just slowly turn the vice. So when it's locked in place in the vice, just slowly turn the vice. Easier than a vice, you can use what I've used before as a, a G clamp, but this gives quite easy, even pressure on each side, and you can see it slowly getting forced in. If you think it's not going in or it doesn't look right, just stop and um, do it again because you don't want to twist the washer or break the washer. Not the washer, the bush. It's a lot easier doing this when you're not having to commentate, but I'm trying to give the best bird's eye view I can as to when I'm doing it. But you can see that's fairly tight there and you'll see once I loosen it off 
you see especially that bit there starts to pop out. So after a lot of fiddling we managed to get this through here. You know you can see as I said before it's got a certain way it has to go through a certain angle. It'll only go one, one way. Patience is the key. This is not a genuine heritage part either so it makes a slight bit of difference but I tried it with the old part and it was just as awkward so now that that's through you can see these are still a bit loose here but once these are tightened in here this does go really tight and puts holes them in place so we need to make sure once we're putting that through at the right angle and it comes through here we're then going to get the spring washer and the bolt on at that end right, so it's a bit tricky try to squeeze it to get the spring washer and the nut on but once it's on I'm just going to tighten up but we're also going to be careful this end that it goes through the flat bit here so it fits in this hole so do it to tighten up for me there you go So the refurb tie rod bar, see it's been painted black, same as the other one. We've got the same polyurethane bushes and new washer, new cup washer and the new bolt for the bottom bar. So the way it's going to go on, this end goes through here and this end through here with the various fittings. We're going to put this end in first and then we're going to manoeuvre this on here. It's quite tight because of the amount of paint I've got on it but it will go. So you want to hold that for me? Mm -hmm. So first bit that goes on is the bush here and you'll push that down to the bottom. And we'll put that through here. Right, so just kind of just hold that there. The other end, the bush then goes on. You'll see there's a notch on either side. That's the bit that fits in here. So that then goes on this way. It's covered by the cup washer, so the indent faces in there. Hold that there for me. Gravity is doing its job, and then that's by uh, another washer that goes on here. Right, somehow we've misplaced the bolt, so I've just cleaned up the old one at the moment. I've got a new one because they're pennies, but we'll just put that on finger tight at the moment just to hold that in place, and then. What we're going to do is we're going to get this lined up here, like I say it was quite tight before but we're just going to give it a slight tap with a rubber mallet, get that in place and then we'll get the, the other bolt in there. Right, so we managed to get the nut tapped through with the rubber mallet carefully. Right. But the spring washer goes on first and then we've got the screw. Again we're just doing it all finger tight until it it's all lined up and then we can just tighten it properly. Okay. So, just a case of getting this tightened up and this tightened up and then that'll be it in place. Tightened and adjusted. You can see it's looking pretty good. Installed in there, and then obviously the tie rod at this side. So that's the bottom arm and the tie rod. We've to do the same for the other side, but I'm not going to show you on this again. Just watching duplicate stuff. 
Next up we're just going to start working on the top arm refurb and all the other components that come with it but I have to say it's so much better working without gloves and no rust.